We have a really small crew on submarines and everyone's got their part to play. Because I wanted to do engineering, I wanted to work with some complex platforms. We have a lot of uh, electronics on board, a lot of powerful computers to process all the sonar data and the combat system data. I'm responsible for providing technical advice to command and overseeing the operation of the platform system and maneuvering control systems. Our engineers also keep watches on the periscope. As the electronics engineer on board, we manage a team of electronics technicians. They're responsible for uh, both operating and maintaining the gear. The training I went through to become a submariner involves around nine months at the submarine school where you learn about all the submarine systems. You practice escape training and then you post to a submarine to consolidate. I think what I like most about my job is just that no day is the same. You might be at sea for a couple of weeks or a couple of months at a time, but when you're alongside, it's close to a normal day job. You have plenty of time to do your hobbies or do what you want to do. I go scuba diving every few weekends, mountain biking nearly every weekend. I've deployed on operations overseas. I visited Hawaii, I visited Japan. So Navy makes a lot of opportunities available. So if you have the initiative and you want to go out and take them, you can take them. I'm Gerard, I'm an electronics engineer submariner in the Royal Australian Navy.